Hello, I'm Dan Witte. It's my honor to serve as Congregational Chairman. Last weekend, the elected leaders of our congregation had our annual planning retreat. We are currently halfway through our long-range ministry plan entitled Vision 2020. And so, at this retreat, we reviewed last year's goals and then set new ones for 2017. In 2016, we had six congregational goals. These included conducting an every member visit to promote spiritual growth. Our ministerial staff did conduct these visits, as I'm sure you remember. Next, we wanted to develop an assimilation plan. The goal here was to develop an intentional plan so that when someone joins Trinity, they not only feel a part of our family, but faithfully attend worship, participate, and stay connected. A plan was developed, but there is still more to do. Our third goal was to continue implementation of the spiritual growth path by fully offering home and first base classes. We did this, including offering two of these classes on YouTube. They are still available to watch, so if you miss them, just go to youtube.com and check out our channel. It's called Trinity Crete. Our fourth goal was to fully fund and install phase one of the technology improvements. God moved the members of the congregation not only to give the $40,000 for phase one, but I'm pleased to report that as of last week, phase two has now been fully funded as well. Fifth, we wanted to research care needs of the congregation. Care needs can be physical, emotional, spiritual, and even financial. The need for a ministry to address these care needs is great. And so we began the process to start a Stephen ministry program. Once this program is established, members with the gifts and heart to help people will receive significant training to meet one-on-one -on -one and extend Christ's love to those who are hurting. And our final goal last year was to work with Illinois Lutheran Schools to address maintenance issues at the elementary building. God truly blessed us last year because we achieved each one of these goals. Not only does this show God's blessings, but also the dedication and hard work of our leaders. We are blessed, and I am privileged to work with these men. At this planning retreat we held last weekend, we also set new goals for 2017. The first is to conduct visits to new members to promote spiritual growth. Our ministerial staff will visit members who have recently joined and encourage them to continue learning more and more from God's Word. Second, we will continue to develop our assimilation plan. To do that, we need to better understand why some people leave Trinity. And so our third goal is to analyze member turnover. Fourth, we will continue the implementation of our spiritual growth path by fully offering second and third base classes. Be on the lookout for some great classes on parenting, strengthening your marriage, learning how to share your faith, and so much more. The next goal is to install phases two, three, and four of our technology plan. Phase two is completely new video recording equipment. Phase three is some more equipment for video productions of videos like this one you are watching. Phase four is some minor audio upgrades. As I mentioned earlier, the $28,000 needed for phase two has been raised. Phase three and four were budgeted for. And so all of these improvements will be installed this year. The sixth goal is to develop and establish a Stephen ministry program. We've already started the promotion of this ministry, but this year we will train selected members and, God willing, have it fully functioning in the fall. Finally, we will continue to work with Illinois Lutheran Schools to address maintenance issues at the elementary building. Last year we worked with our school system to repair some things that needed immediate attention, but there is a lot more that is needed to maintain this aging building. These are the goals that, God willing, we hope to achieve in 2017. Each ministry board has set their own goals as well. In the coming weeks, each board will be highlighted in the worship folder showing who is on that board 
and what each board hopes to accomplish this year. When you see them in the worship folder, be sure to pray for these men and the ministries here at Trinity. Thank you for your time. May God bless us as we share the gospel and grow God's family.